biggest learning curve animal that we've had so far has been the ducks. I think we originally, shortly after we got chickens, but we were gonna keep them outside. We wanted them to kind of be wild ducks. There's a predator problem at night, so that did not work out. We, so then I had kind of given up on the duck idea because for some reason it hadn't occurred to me to put them with the chickens. And then a friend of Shane's had a duck that they couldn't take care of anymore. And they ended up bringing it up here and I fell in love with the duck. It would follow you around, it was really sweet. Uh, we ended up putting it in the barn. And then after that, we decided to get more ducks because ducks are social animals and they need friends. They don't like being alone. Right. They're kind of like people, they need socialization. So then we ended up getting more ducks and we got like a hodgepodge of them. Yeah, we ended up with a couple of Pekins, a couple of Swedish Black Ducks, uh, some Mallards, Chattanooga or something, yep. and we ended up getting, I don't know, whatever, eight or ten of them, and, and having those around, and... Um, really good for bugs. Really good for bugs, uh, really bad for zucchini plants. Yep. We learned that out last year, mm -hmm. um, which actually is why we have the garden fenced in the way that we do this year. But what's kind of crazy, and actually we were just having this conversation today because I just took down part of the fence uh, so that we could do some work in there with the tractor. And I was asking Sarah, should we put the fence back up? Do you think we're okay? Well, one of the things last year was because we didn't have a pond because of the drought, the ducks had nowhere to go. So they ended up going into the zucchini and destroying it. Whereas this year, because we have the pond. So far. So far they are spending their entire day out on the pond. And um, and when I say entire day, I mean from the minute I open the, the barn door in the morning until dusk, they are out in that pond the entire day, swimming around, doing duck things, whatever they do out there. But yeah, that first year of, of having the ducks and um, and thinking that we could just like, oh, they'll just live on the pond without any protection at all. That that didn't. At night, that was. But once we got them in the barn, we had better results, except for the mink. Except for the mink, that was the mink was a problem uh, this last winter. It was our basically our first major predator problem. Yes. We we dealt with some other things the last few years. You know, the occasional raccoon or Only something at like that. Night. Only at night. But the mink was a non-stop, vicious, vicious cycle evil. of murder. I have never been pro mink coats until the mink <laughs> took out my ducks, and now I want a mink coat. So we ended up, uh, it, what, what was kind of terrible about the situation is, is the mink could dig through the frozen ground to get into the barn, uh, but we couldn't dig through the frozen ground to, to, fix, put, the to fix the problem. So the second that we were able to fix the problem, uh, we ended up uh, digging out all the way around the barn and putting in um, uh, fencing. Uh, we made, there's a video of, of us doing that and fixing that problem. And to this point, we haven't had an issue. Now, granted, we're in the middle of summer. Mink pro probably have plenty of food to eat, so we're not going to find out whether or not our fix was 100% until we get into this next fall and winter. But I'm feeling very confident. Between the, the fence that we dug in around the barn and the new chicken coop that we built on the outside of the barn, the chicken run area. Hopefully it'll give the animals a chance. It'll because it'll be a lot more for the mink to climb through. It is going to be a lot for that mink to, it, they're gonna have to go down several feet even to get into the to the barn. So I think that, uh, I think we've probably fixed that one for the most part. Um, if not, then I think concrete is nice. Yeah, concrete, we'll go down about 14 feet with concrete and uh, call that good. The ducks are a really cool thing. And, and I would definitely, you know, they provide eggs. They lay just about every single day, end up with duck eggs and you know, that's the other, was another big thing. I don't think I'd ever had duck eggs in my I whole life. Not, no. And you know, they're, in my opinion, they're fairly similar to a chicken egg. It's, it's I just got, bigger and they have a little more nutrition in them. Right. They're about double the nutrition. But they're actually pretty good. Um, and so that was kind of a really cool thing that, that we got out of uh, owning ducks. 
Um, and quite honestly, they're just fun to watch. <laughs> the ducks are probably more entertaining than the chickens by Especially far. Especially our fat Pika. He's yep. probably my favorite to watch him try to fly because he can't. Yep. Uh, after the mink attack uh, the, this winter, the lone survivor was our uh, Pekin Lucky, uh, which is how he got his name. He um, He's pretty funny. He, um, if you're watching the video and all you can hear is a duck quacking, it's probably him. Mm -hmm. He quacks nonstop. He's the leader of the group. He's the leader. He's the leader of the pack. He's the biggest. He's the leader. Um, he, uh, he's the first one to come up to you and basically start complaining that they're out of food. Um, he's the one, he's the one who, who starts that art, starts leading them down to the pond. And the last one to and it. And the last one to it. Uh, wow. he, uh. He's a pretty funny duck. Um, he's, uh, he's, uh, I hope he's around for a while. He's certainly going to be missed when he's gone. So, very entertaining. He likes to get muddy. He likes to... Uh, he loves peas. He lo loves to feed him peas. He loves so peas. They really like the animal follow him around because he's the kid that throws him uh, carrots and peas. Right. So, about this... Yep, but... Ducks are great. I'd I would highly suggest getting ducks just for the entertainment purpose. Yeah. I know some people eat them, but I don't know. I just like them for the entertainment and the eggs. Where in the heck did you go get so dirty? That's ridiculous. You were covered in mud.